What's going on guys, Minnesota here, and I'm back with another GTA 5 video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wear the Flight School DLC helmet with any outfit after patch 1.16 of GTA. This is really easy to do, and the first thing you want to do is you want to go to a clothing store just like this one, and once you're at one, you want to go up to the desk, and then you want to go and pick out the Flight School DLC helmet, you want to click on it, then you want to equip it. After doing so, you want to go outside, then you want to stand right next to a motorcycle. After doing so, you want to pull up the interaction menu by pressing the select button. Then you want to go down to accessories, then you want to go down to the helmets. And you want to go one over from the flight school one. And after doing so, you want to press Y on your controller to get on top of your motorcycle. But before you're fully on it, you want to scroll one over back to the flight school one. And if done correctly, you'll be on top of your motorcycle with that blue helmet on, but it'll say flight school on and it'll be grayed out. If that happened, you want to press X on your controller to get a gun out. And after doing so, you want to go back into the clothing store. Then you want to go and switch to a, a outfit of your choice. And it could be anyone you want. I picked a nice black suit because I look pretty good in the game with that on and in real life haha <laughs> anyways you want to go back outside then you want to go and get on the motorcycle once again after doing so you want to go back to the interaction menu then you want to go to accessories then you want to go put auto show helmet on and then that should put the flight school DLC helmet on after that happens you want to go and put a parachute on yes you're gonna have to do that because that's going to partly save this little glitch. After you put it on, you just want to ride around on your motorcycle or just sit there until you see the orange loading circle on the bottom right screen appear, then disappear. And after it does that, all you have to do is press start on your controller, then go over to options, then scroll down to swap character. Yes, you're going to have to click on that. And once it loads up, you want to press A on your character, or you can press B to go to single player and then go back to multiplayer. But once you're loaded back into multiplayer, as you can see, it worked and it should be saved. So all you can do now is just go have fun, or if you want, you can turn off your Xbox and play GTA like four hours later. It doesn't really matter. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like, comment in the section below on what you thought of this video, and subscribe if you haven't already. And before I forget, you can take off the parachute. I don't want to forget to say that. And if you're on a different channel like a community one, please check out my link in the description below to go to my channel and hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Minnesota Ninja. Signing out. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like and also subscribe. And check out my previous video, it's really crazy. Anyways, this is Minnesota Ninja, and I'm signing out. I'll see you guys in the next video.